I'm Sabina Hasanova with the latest news in English on Asvision TV. Russian Embassy to Baku opened a book of condolences in honor of the victims of the fire in a shopping mall in Kemerovo. The book of condolences will also be available for signing tomorrow, the embassy said. The Russian flag at the embassy has been lowered to half-mast as a sign of respect for the fire victims. Note that a fire broke out on March the 25th in Zimnia Vishnya shopping mall in Siberian city of Kemerovo. In total, 76 people, including 27 children, were injured and 64, including 41 children, were killed in the fire. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a decree to declare March the 28th a national day of mourning. Observation is of great importance to ensure transparency at elections, said Mezahir Panahov, chairman of Azerbaijan Central Election Commission, at a meeting with the expert group on long-term observation of the presidential elections in Azerbaijan of the Interparliamentary Assembly of the Commonwealth of Independent States. The head of the group, Dmitry Glade, said their goal is to get acquainted with the preparation for the presidential elections in Azerbaijan and have a report ready following their observation. After the meeting, Mazahir Panahov also spoke of the campaigning debates of the presidential candidates. The debates of presidential candidates during their free airtime on public TV are running normally and no unpleasant events have been recorded so far. There are no perfect election campaigns in any country. It is a big process and things can happen. Overall, the election campaign of the presidential candidates is proceeding normally. The U.S.-based AJF and Associates and Citizens Labor Rights Protection League have announced the results of the pre-exit poll survey regarding the April 11th presidential election. The survey involved 1,500 respondents from various districts of Azerbaijan. When asked how often do you participate in the parliamentary or presidential election, 74% answered that they always do. Another 10% said they will take part in the presidential elections on the 11th of April for the first time. 82.9% of the respondents said they would vote for Ilham Aliyev and 70.9% said they would vote for the ruling New Azerbaijan party, said Georgi Birnbaum, president of AJF and Associates. President of the Islamic Republic of Iran, Hassan Rouhani, has arrived in Azerbaijan on an official two-day visit. The Iranian president is received for a one-on-one -on -one meeting by the president of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, and will proceed to hold a meeting in an expanded format with the participation of delegations of the two countries. The two parties are expected to sign documents in the fields of industry, agriculture, health and tourism. The president of Azerbaijan and Iran will take part in the opening of Nefchela automobile plant and the Astara Astra railway line tomorrow. Minister of Defense of Azerbaijan, Colonel General Zakir Hasanov, has left for Ankara on an official visit upon an invitation from his Turkish counterpart Nurettin Canikli. Mr. Hasanov has already met with Chief of General Staff of the Turkish Armed Forces, Hulise Akar, where the parties discussed military cooperation between the countries and political and military situation in the region. The Azerbaijani Defense Minister will also take part in a trilateral meeting with his Turkish and Georgian counterparts in the Turkish city of Giresun on the 31st of March. Azerbaijan plays an important role in ensuring energy security in the region and in the world, said Robert Sukutek, U.S. Ambassador to Azerbaijan, at a business dinner dedicated to completion of his diplomatic mission in the country. The geographical position of Azerbaijan and its energy resources play a very important role in ensuring energy security of not only the region, but also the world. These and other factors increase Azerbaijan's authority on the international arena. The U.S. envoy also noted that there is a need to help find a peaceful settlement to the armenia azerbaijan nagorno karabakh conflict based on internationally agreed principles. While talking on an international level to find a solution to the nagorno karabakh problem, Armenia keeps on violating the ceasefire. Over the past 24 hours, Armenian armed forces have violated the ceasefire along the contact line between Azerbaijan and the Armenian troops 119 times using large caliber machine guns, reports the Azerbaijani Defense Ministry. And that was all for today from Asvision TV. Our next update will be tomorrow. Thank you for watching.